Ho, ho, ho! Merry Fantasy Championships! Feel some on your dress. You should. <laughs> Sand over here, dust it over there. This is our last episode because you should be playing your championship week this week. Here comes my little sappy speech. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everybody in our community. Everyone that's been active in the forums, that goes onto the site, clicks likes on YouTube, leaves positive comments. Yeah. And also the FST crew, we had a lot more people come on this year. Again, because of you, because of people that have been watching, we've had to hire a lot more people to come on and the experts have been fantastic. We appreciate everything. Bottom of my heart, thank you. Great season. Unless you play Jamal Charles a bunch of leagues like I did, you're still better. But other than that, Thank you for me as well. We do appreciate it. And uh, we will be in the forums week 17. And for whatever reason, your championship is that week. We will be in there. We won't be shooting any videos. But let's get into those forum questions. The first one's a quarterback question from Musubi. Musubi. That's what I'm going with. Jay Cutler at Philly. Andrew Luck at KC. Ryan Tannenhill, who's been playing amazing lately at Buffalo. 85% are saying Cutler. Yeah, got to do with the community here. Going to go with Jake Cutler. But side note, just because he's got so many weapons. I mean, that offense is sick in terms of weapons. Side note, Tannehill had a stellar year so far. Dustin and I were just talking about it. He's definitely on the nice list. All right, Dustin. Was that corny? Probably. What defense? John Turb wants to know. Cleveland at the Jets. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Indianapolis Colts. Or the Finns at Buffalo. This one's tough. You know, and as you'll see a little bit later as far as who my dud is this week, I'm not that high on Kansas City's defense this week. And it's tough because they're a stud at this point as far as, you know, what we would consider a stud. <laughs> Sorry. Your, was, your beard is, is distracting me. <laughs> but uh, they're just scary because Indy protects the ball fairly well. You know, defenses against Indy this year haven't had too much success other than just a couple weeks. And... I think I'm going Miami here going up against, oh, 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 going up against Buffalo. I mean, EJ, oh, oh, oh. EJ Manuel is out. It's tough. I mean, it's real close with Cleveland and the Jets. But Sitting the Chiefs. That's what he's saying to do. That's a tough one. That's that scary. really is a tough one. Who do you go, Santa? Saying Chiefs? It's tough. Yeah, I'd go Chiefs. I would go, go Chiefs. Chiefs. I'd go the defense that got me there. I'd go it's the a really tough one. But, uh, it's, it is, it really is. Quarterback question from Steeler fan 20,000. Phillip Rivers versus Oakland. Russell Wilson versus Arizona. 75% are saying Rivers. Speak about seasons out of nowhere. Phillip Rivers has had an amazing season this year. Really bounced back. I just love that matchup with Oakland. I, I, I couldn't sit almost anybody against Oakland, especially a guy like Phillip Rivers, who's been having a great year. I'm going to go with Phillip Rivers just also because Russell Wilson has a tough matchup with Arizona, and Wilson doesn't throw for a ton of yards ever. He's a better real-life quarterback than fantasy quarterback this year, I feel. Well, and his team doesn't ask him to do a ton. Uh, sure. So that's about a bit of it, too. But Round and pound. Let's get into those dud sleepers and deep sleepers. And my dud is Kansas City's defense, but Whoa. I'm not saying they're an automatic bench. I'm just saying if there's someone else out there that you're intrigued with, I don't think duds at defenses are necessarily no-brainer starters each week just because matchups play such a big factor when you're thinking about what defense you're going to start and Indy has protected the ball fairly well so it's not like going up against the Giants you know almost you know good chance of a pick six each week Colts have been holding on to the ball fairly well so they're just a little scary most cases you're still starting KC though my sleeper is Jay Cutler you know, the reason I'm calling him a sleeper is because I think he's owned in a lot of leagues, but I still think some people might still be having a hard time plugging him in as his start, the starting quarterback. Do it this week. That game could be a very much a shootout. It could be, you know, 80 points in that game. And I think Cutler definitely gets his fair share. And then my deep sleeper is Detroit's defense going up against the Giants. You know, Detroit definitely needs to win. They're at home. Giants, I mean, they might as well give up at this point. You know, <laughs> Cruz is probably Cruz probably isn't gonna play. No, 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 no. It, it's it's just no, there's no uh, huge upside for the Giants this week. I think another big week with a lot of picks. All right, Santa's dud is Matt Aziata. Here's the thing with this this Minnesota running back. He had three touchdowns last week. If you saw that Gerhardt was out and picked him up, 
you think you're a genius, you're really not. You're just dead lucky. <laughs> 30 carries for 51 yards. That's not good. That is awful. He just got really lucky with some pass interferences, getting tackled on the one. It ain't gonna happen again. If you picked him up and you played him, don't play him this week. I'm telling you that now. Side note, FanDuel, if you're out and you're watching this, we love you. You can go into FanDuel, enter the promo code FST2013, deposit money, and they give you a bonus back. For that, you do like an auction thing. I think a great guy to grab is Kirk Cousins. He is playing the Dallas Cowboys. They have been awful. Matt Flynn threw for four touchdowns against them. I, th I have Cousins ranked fairly high this week over some big name quarterbacks. You can still get him cheap on FanDuel. I think you start with him and build from there. And a deep, deep sleeper wide receiver, Santana Moss, Kirk Cousins, apparently loves to throw to him. Nine targets, that was his season high. He had eight catches. I don't love him in those daily FanDuel leagues, but if you are in a deep league, need a Hail Mary play in a PPR, you could do a lot worse than Santana, it looks like. And that Dallas-Washington game, another one that could be really high scoring. Let's move into Mike's picks. His dud, Andre, uh, Andre Brown, <sighs> going up against the... On Santa's naughty list! <laughs> Punk. Yeah, not a good week for him last week. A, a tough matchup for him. You know, and with the passing game just not there, it, it's hard for Brown to get going. His sleeper is going to be Kendall Wright going up against Jacksonville. You know, I talked a little bit in my waiver wire show. Let me stop moving over there. Too much beard movement. I talked it's about bad week for this, Santa, man. this game in my waiver wire show. The Tennessee Jags game could be a, a terrible game to watch in terms of just who's excited about seeing that game if you aren't in fantasy, but it could be a game that has a lot of fantasy points that go around because I think both those offenses are good enough to score on those defenses. And I think Kendall Wright, or Mike thinks Kendall Wright could have another good game. And then it, his deep sleeper is going to be Dennis Johnson going up against Denver. Ben Tate's out, Arian Foster's out, last man standing Dennis Johnson. They're going to ask him to do a lot. He's going to touch the ball. Probably a decent amount in the passing game and running game. Just from pure volume, he's got a high upside this week. And Santa has him ranked pretty high in that rankings contest. 18th out of 125 right now. It's not bad, Santa. Not bad at all. Another year in the books. Oh, Thanks so again. If you got any questions, host them in the forum. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ho, ho, ho. Santa had such a bad week last week. <laughs> 